and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on preterm labor. Preterm labor is defined as labor which occurs between the 24th weeks of gestation and 36 weeks plus 6 days, which is around 37 weeks of gestation. So it is considered preterm if it is less than 37 weeks. The causes of preterm labor includes preterm prelabor rupture of membrane, the PPROM, infection, placenta eruptio, multiple pregnancy where there are twins or triplets, fetal anomaly, and also intrauterine growth restriction. The clinical features include uterine contraction, which occurs once in every 10 minutes, lasting for at least 30 seconds per contraction, and when these contractions are felt before 37 completed weeks of gestation. Whereas on vagina examination, there will be progressive cervical dilatation indicating sign of labor, and also effacement and descent of the presenting part of the baby. These are the clinical signs to suggest preterm labor. The investigations, we have to identify the cause during initial assessment, ultrasound to assess the fetal parameters, are they corresponding to the period of gestation, or is there any intrauterine growth restriction? Check the amniotic fluid index and also the site of the placenta. Transvaginal ultrasound can be done to look for cervical shortening or dilatation and also look for funneling of the membranes down the cervical canal. Other investigations include full blood count, urine culture and sensitivity to exclude urinary tract infection, and fibronectin tests to te de detect the presence of fibronectin release from the chorio membranes. The plan of management includes admitting the patient, investigate the cause of the preterm labor. We should give intramuscular dexamethasone, 12 mg for two doses, 12 hourly if the baby is less than 36 weeks of gestation. Tocolytics to suppress labor in order for the dexamethasone to complete, provided there is no evidence of choreo amnionitis going on. Remember not to tocolize a suspected placenta previa or placenta eruption. Next, counsel the patient regarding her condition and the plan of management. Monitor the mother and the fetus by doing the labor progress chart for the mother. And for fetus, we can monitor the wellness of the fetus by using fetal kick chart and also cardiotocograph for hourly. Next plan for delivery. So we consider delivery in these conditions where there is presence of infection or intrauterine death where the baby is not viable already, any fetal abnormality, and we can consider delivery if the steroid therapy dexamethasone has been completed or if there is unsuccessful tocolysis where there are still uterine contractions going on. So if the baby is in cephalic presentation, we can deliver the baby through vaginal delivery. Instrumental delivery using forceps if indicated. And the pediatric team should stand by for delivery. These are some of the medical therapies we use in preterm labor. The first one is intramuscular dexamethasone, which is the steroid for preterm babies. It can help to reduce the neonatal respiratory distress syndrome. It is given before delivery between 24 to 36 weeks of gestation and given within 7 days of delivery. The dosage is 2 doses, 12 mg, 12 hourly apart. The second group of medical therapy is tocolytic drugs, which include nifedipine, which is the preferable drug, sabotamol or terbutaline, magnesium sulfate, oxytocin antagonists like atosiban and ritodrin. So these tocolytic drugs are contraindicated where we should not give in placenta eruption or chorioamnionitis. So magnesium sulfate is also one of the medications given for premature baby less than 32 weeks of gestation. It is given for neural protection where it has shown to reduce the risk of cystic periventricular leukomalacia and also cerebral palsy. The dosage is 4 gram IV slow bolus followed by infusion of 1 gram per hour until delivery, and it is started at least 4 hours before delivery. There are some side effects which include facial flushing, tachycardia, and hypotension. These are the, some of the complications of premature baby.
which includes respiratory distress syndrome, intraventricular hemorrhage, necrotizing enterocolitis. For the eyes, they may be retinopathy of prematurity, seen in premature babies, bronchopulmonary dysplasia, and also premature babies are more prone to infection, anemia, congenital heart abnormalities like pattern ductus arteriosus, apnea, cryptorchidism, where there is undescended testis, inguinal hernia, and also umbilical hernia. That's all for this video. Thank you.